Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit. If you've been watching my channel over the years, you already know my love for chicken wings and trying new chicken wing recipes. If you haven't been watching my channel over the years, welcome to the Wolf Pit. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so that way you never miss a new Wolf Pit cooking video or a what are we eating video. Well, I haven't made a chicken wing recipe in a very long time. As a matter of fact, I just went and looked. The last chicken wing video I did was the smoked whiskey wings with bacon bourbon barbecue sauce over two years ago. And that's totally unacceptable that I didn't provide you, the people, with a chicken wing recipe for over two years. And by the way, those smoked whiskey wings with bacon bourbon barbecue sauce were amazing. It's football season and what goes better with football than chicken wings and of course, beer. So today, I'm making a batch of what I'm going to call finger licking chicken wings. And if you decide to make these, make sure you make twice as much as you think you'll need because these will not last long at your next big game. Not only are these finger licking chicken wings absolutely delicious, they're also easy to make with only two ingredients. So let's get started. Here I have about four pounds of whole chicken wings. I'm going to leave them whole, but if you want them separated, go right ahead. My mood and laziness level usually decide whether I separate them or not. And obviously today, I wasn't in the mood and my laziness level was high, so I just left them whole. We're going to get these wings seasoned up with Plowboy's Barbecue Yardbird Rub. This has turned into be one of my favorite rubs to use on barbecue chicken. If you want to give it a try, I'll leave a link in the description box on where you can get it. And you want to give the wings a nice light uniform coating. You don't want to put too much rub on the chicken or it'll start caking up and overpower the chicken. Once you have the first side of the chicken wings evenly coated, flip them over and repeat the same process. And remember, a nice light even coating of seasoning. Now you could cook the wings right now, but I'm going to put them in the refrigerator while I heat up the grill. You can cook these wings on any grill or smoker or even in the oven. But today, I'm using my Yoder Waya 640 pellet grill, which is as easy to operate as your oven. You turn it on, set your temperature, and then let it preheat. Initially, you'll get a whole lot of smoke coming out of the stack, but after about five minutes, the smoke dissipates into a light, faint blue smoke, which is exactly what you want when you're grilling and smoking. Light blue smoke is a sign of a clean burning fire. If you don't have a clean burning fire, your food's gonna be too smoky and bitter. Once the odor YS640 is up to 350 degrees, it's time to add the chicken so we can make finger licking chicken. And always remember, you can't make finger licking chicken without chicken. Well, I bet one of the frozen processed food manufacturers could. It seems as though you can make anything out of anything and call it what you want in the form of a foreign meat slurry concoction, when you simply don't know exactly what you're eating. And if you noticed, I put these wings skin side down first. And I really didn't do it for any particular reason, because we're gonna be flipping these a few times throughout the cook. Once all your wings are on the grill, close the lid and let them cook at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. Do you ever get that strange feeling that someone or something is watching you? After cooking for 20 minutes at 350 degrees, let's open up the yoder and see what the wings look like. And the wings are already starting to look and smell really good. So let's give them a flip. Then once they're all flipped, let's take a closer look. And although some things look beautiful from a distance until you get up close, these wings look good from afar and up close. The skin is rendering down nicely and getting crispy. So let's close the lid and let them go for another 15 to 20 minutes. After cooking for 20 more minutes, our wings were looking and smelling incredible. And now it's time to add the sauce. And the sauce I'm using today is Firebug Brands Fruit Infused Mild Grilling Sauce. And if you like it spicy, they also make it hot. And when applying the grilling sauce, it's the same as it was with the barbecue rub. Just brush on a thin uniform layer of sauce. You don't want to glop on any more sauce than you really need. When you add too much sauce, the excess sauce drips off the chicken and onto the heat source and burns. And when the sugar in the sauce burns, it creates a bitter flavor, which will cause your chicken to be bitter. 
Once all the wings are coated, close the lid and let them go for five more minutes. After five more minutes, open up the grill and give them all a flip. And then baste the underside of the wings with the grilling sauce. And again, lightly brush the sauce on the wings, like Bob Ross would paint happy trees. Once all the wings are coated again, close the lid and let them go for five more minutes. Then open the lid, wipe the drool from your bottom lip, and give these wings one more flip. And finally, one last coating of sauce. Once all the wings have gotten their final coat of sauce, take a quick gander and then close the lid for the final five minutes. After the final five minutes, the sauce is set and these wings are ready to enjoy. And there you have it. That's all there is to making finger licking chicken. These wings were messy, juicy, smoky, sweet, tangy, and I could go on and on with the adjectives to describe these wings. But most of all, and most importantly, they were finger licking good. I knew before this video was over, I'd have to steal the Colonel's catchphrase. When we were done, all we had was a table full of bones. You, the people, have been asking me for a long time to get t-shirts and other merchandise made. So I did what I always do. I listened to you, the people, and I had a few t-shirts made. I'll leave a link in the description box where you can get these shirts, along with a lot more merchandise coming soon. So be sure to check back every day and see what's new. Thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.